Hey guys, and welcome back to some magical reviews where I'm going to be reviewing a CBBC children's show that ran in 2012 and 2013. I'm only going to be reviewing the first three episodes of this show from 2012. The show is Strange Hill High. And the three episodes in question are King Mitchell... 99 Cool Things to Do with a Time Machine. <laughs> and the Lost and Found Kid. So, but first, a synopsis of the show. The show is about three kids, Mitchell, Becky, and Templeton, who attend a high school in a town called Strange Hill, where nothing out of the ordinary happens. Something strange happens in every episode. So now we get on to reviewing the episodes themselves. In the first of these episodes, King Mitchell, Mitchell accidentally summons a medieval knight through a giant grubby toilet. In the back of the boys' bathroom at the school, and lies to him about being a king, leading the knight to believe his story and protect him. And this gets him out of all kinds of. Well, this gets him out of trouble with the school, but into other kinds of trouble. Well, okay, so, okay, um, and yes, it's the um, ex exam week has started at Strange Hill High in this episode. Okay, so that is King Mitchell and its plot. In 99 Cool Things to Do with a Time Machine. After worrying that they'll get there too late. And arriving initially on the stroke of nine. Uh, knowing they'll be punished for being a le like a late. Um, Mitchell decides to climb the school clock tower... And turn time back 15 minutes. Doing so actually sends them back in time 15 minutes. So upon realising the clock tower outside the school, like the school clock is a time machine, they start messing with time. And this eventually causes Becky to rapidly age into an old woman and Templeton to rapidly de-age into an infant. <laughs> and so they have to fix time before things go even more horribly wrong. And finally, in The Lost and Found Kid, things start to go missing around Strange Hill, uh, Strange Hill High, and Mitchell is the one being accused of theft. Until they actually go into the school Lost and Found room to find all the missing items were in fact stolen, but by The Lost and Found Kid, who has been there for over a hundred years after perceivedly being abandoned by his dad and yes his name is Peter by the way and he's still a kid even a hundred years later which brings into the question of how old he actually is
Uh, it's the Lost and Found Boy. I've misnamed that episode. It's not the Lost and Found Kid. Yes, yeah, the Lost and Found Boy. Sorry. So that's these three episodes that I've watched. So um, that's these three episodes. Uh, they are brilliant episodes. Very hilarious. And, well, the next episode will be for the next, a review of the next four episodes in the series. Episodes four to seven. So uh, look out for that review coming soon in a couple of day in a couple of days from when you're seeing this probably but until then if you enjoyed this review please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching and have us a magical time